At that moment, Jesus' disciples returned, and they were greatly surprised to find him talking with a woman. But none of them said to her, what do you want? Or asked him, why are you talking with her? Then the woman left her water jar and went back to the town. Come and see the man who told me everything I've ever done. Could he be the Messiah? So they left the town and went to Jesus. In the meantime, the disciples were begging Jesus, teacher, have something to eat. But he answered, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. So the disciples started asking among themselves, could somebody have brought him food? My food is to obey the will of the one who sent me and to finish the work he gave me to do. You have a saying, four more months and then the harvest. But I tell you, take a good look at the fields. The crops are now ripe and ready to be harvested. The one who reaps the harvest is being paid and gathers the crops for eternal life. So the one who plants and the one who reaps will be glad together. For the saying is true. Someone plants, someone else reaps. I have sent you to reap the harvest in a field where you did not work. Others work there. And you profit from their work. Many of the Samaritans in that town believed in Jesus because the woman had said, he told me everything I have ever done. So when the Samaritans came to him, they begged him to stay with them. And Jesus stayed there two days. Many more believed because of his message. And they told the woman, we believe now, not because of what you said, but because we ourselves have heard him and we know that he really is the savior of the world.